In Iron Man, he has a table with only one flat surface, even though it always takes another thing from above, and they used to have just infinite wire work and laser diodes that were huge from crystals back in the 70s to do this from table to table for, you know, military, like they're building something and they need to see all the details on it. Well, imagine this, because you know how you move things is you drag your hand through the lasers and then it brings it along because it's, it, you know, the, you're interrupting the field. Yeah. So, you could have an entire laser room, you know, one color to make it more efficient because it knows where all the lasers are because you're passing through them and everything in the fields. Yeah. And, you know, it sends from one side but they're not death lasers, they're just regular lasers. They're all fogged and, and all built and yeah. cut even with the, the gem that's sending it to where it's like on a frequency that won't even hurt your eyes. As it's double safe, you know, so it comes out and then receives in another place on the wall. So you have them every which direction, up and down, left to right, like a room like this. Yeah. And then within the playing field of densified light that's the densest, like say, you know, I'm using this mattress as an example, but obviously, you know, fuck you, pay me, I need everything in life, I need a bed frame. Anyways, um, you're in the, 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 the area you're standing within, and the densified light, you know, crisscrosses in a way that makes it like different objects, like chairs and things, and like a, a creature that's like a man, you know, with four arms, and you're like fighting him, and the 3D character model, you know what I mean, and then heads back and forth because it's sending receiving lasers already, so it's really fast. Wherever you move through it, you know, it's detecting you perfectly in 3D as well. So when you go to punch the four-armed man creature, you know exactly where to strike because he's there represented yeah. by lasers that are hitting each other, passing through in light and air, even if it's basic in one color just to yeah. make this program work at first. And then you can, uh, like, well, actually, through quartz light, you can have it just twisted differently, and then the algorithm is put on the quartz, like you have a separate camera running yeah. for that. So then you could turn red light, for example, into multicolored light without a performance hit. From what I can tell, movies Anyways, have always done this. Yeah. But since I'm reinventing yeah. it, then uh, I deserve all the money. Everybody else says that. It doesn't matter if it existed in a primitive way. It doesn't matter if it existed well. If it doesn't Dude, exist now, Grant, I don't care. we're living in the, the slumlands, and everybody out there, what they're actually doing is they're replacing movies. They come out from a studio legitimately. Then people at home in their basements, uh, you know, now, now they're any age. They're, they're even dogs doing it. Um, they just come in and they say, no. Because the actors had to react to the 3D hologram monsters, let's say, because they're pre-programmed to do certain actions. And we aren't even going to get into the advanced thing where the monsters react slightly different compared to how the humans are moving so that it lines up better for the supposed strike. Like, there's that type of... Well, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say because you're passing through all the laser lines. Yeah. As soon as you touch the densified laser lines in the algorithm that is the monster, you interrupt them. Then it supposedly reels back based on how they want yeah. the physics to be. So you know. So shitheads. Like yeah. Or in a game environment, technically, you could punch something, but it doesn't look like much to you. It's just a reference. Yeah. Shitheads in their basements. They're getting a hold of technology that I don't get to have, and I'm like, okay, what? They're just even further in the future? Okay, uh, how does that make sense? Why is time so fucked? But, um, like, they're doing the opposite of what real actors do. Whereas real actors would, you know, view what the monsters are gonna do in the 3D environment they're gonna interact within, and then react to it, because that's effort. Instead, they just... Jason Momoa is also just from the future, and he's a piece of shit, and he's from one of the elite families, and I, I'm just gonna fucking body slam him into every surface when I meet him, you know? Because he's one of these fucking elites who came in, and he admitted to, like, in the stupid shitty knockoff um, water movie he's in, Aquaman, or whatever movie it was, they're just gonna, he's just gonna lamely just have a little green plastic sword and vaguely slash around in midair, and then he totally said he was astonished because the tech guys told him that he, he thought he'd have to, you know, interact with something or something. But the tech guy said, no, just gaily swing your sword around, imagine tentacles, and then we'll come in and do all the work and have the tentacles react in ways depending upon how you swung with our imaginations. I He's a it. piece of fuck! I doubt it. And that's backwards. So he's banned. I'm never hiring him. And I'm on the lookout for anybody else who's a piece of shit like him.
That's well, he all. He bitches all day about fucking ocean plastics as if he's like pretending to be yeah. Aquaman the politician. He's well, he horrible. Consumes infinite chemicals in all the products that he's complaining about microplastics yeah. around. You just focus on the packaging around the garbage you're pumping into your body. Yeah. All the dehydrating chemicals of different factory foundries, basically. All yeah. for the skin. Yeah, so I mean they're all doing it, but he just is Mr. Elite Spa, you know, of, of degeneracy in that He has way. some sort of reference technology he wasn't yes. mentioning. And you're thinking of Conan, that ancient movie yes. all the way from like 2010. Because he just said he's so fucking special that he's just a, a floating ghost in the future. And he's just using all the technology us and other people came out from the future and old 1800s tech that's sitting in his garage or something with his friends in the elite level market wherever the fuck they live and fly to each other's homes. I'm not fucking kidding. Yeah. Then as we get to the future, then everyone's revealed as fucking shithead terrorists flying around in the air recently. The military bombed them all over. There was... Well, they don't Ten know. trillion planes in the air all following each other between airports with no fucking logic of rules of how you would and land safely. In each other's airspace heading at each other? Yeah. So, I mean, then they don't want to land? And all of this was discussed to me by military people visiting my strawberry farm back in the day, even pre-2010, talking about how they had to bomb the shit out of fucking people who were doing outrageous airspace tactics practices for years as if they were just talking about it. I was like, what are you talking about? Then I get all the way to the future and lo and behold, now, now the shitheads with all the expired graveyard airplanes are flying non-stop. Not now though. The militaries have finally grounded all that bullshit. So I'm calling bullshit on the corona. It started now because of that airplane bullshit and everybody trying to fly around and get their germs all over everyone else in the world. They already did it here first. Then it's like, okay, we get to this year. When do they reannounce the corona, right? A couple more months after everybody screamed some more from... Uh, Vomiting blood out their eye yeah. sockets, they're so diseased. Yeah, so I'm trying to provide solutions from the inside out so that, you know, the blood can crystallize into ruby and be used for my own entertainment. Like with the um, Bloodshot movie that came out as Corona hit. As Corona hit that week. Good job, Vin Diesel. It's probably from now, you know. He made well, it now, I don't know. It's a good movie. Yeah. So we have our ruby graphics card and... um. I'm upset because it's never because of those Vulcan fag woman and her brother and infecting everyone around me, talking at me out of people. I, I'm just going to be honest. Then they just say, no, your red graphics ruby card will never work. That's magic. And then everybody's blood heats and cools and crystallizes and shatters over and over, exploding till all humanity's dead because a virus bacteria in them thought that it was smart and ran all technology. So we had to switch over to the um, butane from monk fruit as yeah. a graphics card. Which yeah, runs into, with our screen. Yeah. Decaying monk fruit turns into butane, I guess. Because never at one fucking point ever would they say that any of the built up particles of humanity shoving their piss X technology electron particles down the pipeline of our fucking entire electrical grid. I smell it, I hear it, I see it. Blowing up all transformers in our area, always shipping in more, always shipping in more, as they crystallize into more ruby light in our ruby graphics card, then declare, Mwahaha! This fucking light particles are trained based off of shitty spinning human bodies to never fucking let computer games run efficiently, and they're recognized by tiny bacteria like that woman to always resist and never fucking let it work! Learn, bitch! Learn! I hate you! So, I don't care what you prefer in existence. I want colors. I want awesome shit. And I will snap your pelvis like a twig. Yeah. Exactly. And so, uh, I don't even know. I guess that's all I have to say.